Hello, and welcome to your 12th C++ lesson. This one is on references and pointers. Alright, so basically, references are what they sound like. They just give a reference to a variable. So, just to show you this, we're, I've got my basic program structure. We're just going to create an int called value. And we can set anything you like. I'm going to set mine to 99. And now we're going to create a reference. So this is new. We're going to write int because we want to reference to value. So because value is an integer, the reference has to be an integer type. And then we have an ampersand. So it's one of those and signs, uh, which basically means it's a reference. So create a reference integer, basically. And we're just going to call it ref to value. As I said, you can call it anything. It's just a variable name. And we're going to set its value. So the reference has now been set. It's going to reference to this variable called value, which is 99 at the moment. So basically, ref to value, whenever you call it, it's going to go, all right, let's just look at value. Value is 99. I'm 99. If we change value to 50, it goes, okay, value is 50. I'm 50. And that's basically how references work. So the thing is with references, their weakness is you can only set them to another variable, like we've set it to value, you can only do that when you make them, and you can't change what you set them to, or anything like that, which is quite annoying, which is why we're moving to pointers later in this lesson. Alright, so we have value, which is 99, we have ref to value, which is value, and what we're going to do, just to prove that when you change value, it changes ref to value, and when you change ref to value, it changes value, um, we're just going to set up a simple thing. So we're going to go just shout value and shout ref to value. Let's just copy this. We're probably going to need it in a minute. So let's just think about this. It's going to be 99 and ref to value is going to be 99. Now we're going to set ref to value to. 50. So because we set ref to value to 50, it's actually going to change value to 50 as well. So we can now do the C out thing again. So it's going to go 99, 99. Then we set the reference to 50. So it's going to go 50, 50. And then we're just going to change value to something different. Say value equals 100. And then we can C out them both again. And let's just debug this. 99, 99, 50, 50, 100, 100. So that's pretty simple. And that's that's references. They're really simple. And although they may not seem useful at the moment, they kind of come in later as quite useful. But not as useful as pointers, which is what we're going to move on to now. So to make a pointer, well, let's first of all create our value. So let's say int value equals 80. And now let's create our pointer. So we go int, and then we have an asterisk, so one of the little stars. I like the thing you do for multipli multiplication, that's better, um, in C++. And then we just do, um, so we can go pointer to value oops, equals. Now we don't just say equals value, like we did with the reference. We say equals ampersand, so the little and thing, value and the semicolon. And this is basically because the ampersand, in this case, means find the memory address of value. So it's basically just value. But what it actually does is, because variables are all stored in the memory, it gets the memory thing and goes, okay, give me. So basically, points to value pretty much is value. Um, and just so I can use this later. I'm going to create a value 2, which I'm going to set to 30. Okay, so at the moment, our pointed to value is set to value, so it's 80. Let's just uh, reuse this code here. Let's copy that, we're going to need it. So at the moment, it's going to output value, which is 80, and then pointed to value, which is also 80. So it's going to output 80, 80. Now we can change pointed to value to something like 20 
and I'm pretty sure you know that's going to change a value to 20. And we can also change uh, value to 20 as well, and that's going to change point to value. You already know that because it's pretty much the same with references. But what we can do is we can say point. So we've left value at 20 because we changed point to value. We're now going to change point to value to value 2. Uh huh. So now, oops. I was okay. Sorry, there's something I've completely forgotten about pointers. Can't believe I've done this. Whenever you call them, you have this little asterisk in front. So let's just change all of this. All right. Uh, recopy this. Okay. So now, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set pointers to value to value two. So points to value is now 30, but we've left value at 20. So if we now do the two C out statements again, let's just save that and debug. And we will see it says 80, 80, 20, 20, 30, 30. Basically, what I when we're resetting the pointer, to a different variable, we actually don't use the asterisk. Uh, instead, what we do is we say point to value, and we set it to the memory address of the val of the variable name, uh, which gets a bit confusing sometimes. But yeah, basically, what you do is you go point to value because that's our pointer name, but we don't use the asterisk because we're using this um, operator here, the um, memory address thing. So basically, we don't use the asterisk because of the memory address thing. If we now debug this, we'll get what we expected before, which is 80, 80, 20, 20, 20, 30. Because we've left value at 20 when we set point to value to 20. Um, but now, point to value has been set to value 2. So we left value at 20, but we um, set point to value. 30, which is value 2, so it adds 20, then 30. Uh, and that is why we don't have the asterisk here, because otherwise it would think that we were setting point to value um, that's representing our normal value, as well as itself, to value 2. Which is why it would, for example, if I just put this little star here and took away the memory address thing, um, then basically what would happen now is it would set value to value 2. So that should output 30, 30 now. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to references and pointers. They're really powerful later on when you get to kind of the higher stages of programming, should I say. Um, they're really great. Um, have a go with them. You can actually get some quite complex stuff going on if you uh, mess around with them. So, um, yeah, have a go with that. Have a nice day.